Uh, can you take over Steve Wright's Radio 2 slot? Now he's stepping down, please. Would you like that suffix? Uh, McClure in the afternoon. <laughs> Scotty McClure in the afternoon. Dinky do. Oh, wow. Would that not be a winner for BBC Radio? Whoo-wee. Could you imagine the audience? Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Uh, I think we should abolish government in general, reset the system. They're all corrupt and can be bought. Yes, I think we have to make it that a politician can never be bought. And if it's worked out that they are bought, then they have to go. They have to step down. You can only be voted in by the people. So there we are. Uh, who have we got? You have a picture of a rabbit meat. Um, there you tell them, Scotty. I'll tell them straight. No doubt about that. Guys, we're just up for a quick pop-up this morning. Uh, good morning, sir, from Tennessee. Good morning, Jeddington. We love you in Tennessee. What are you doing up at this time of night? Uh, a bunch of commies, Scotty. Who's a bunch of commies? Uh, send them to prison. Oh, well, yes, I think if they're caught working for somebody other than the people. Your energy is impeccable. Sicko. That's so kind of you. You're looking rough, says Donald. No, I'm not looking rough. I just haven't shaved because I took my beard off last week and it's irritated my facial skin. So I'm not looking rough. I just haven't shaved. Do you see the difference? Yes, I did. Scotty, you get an audience of 20 million if you're on Radio 2. Oh, it'd be huge. Scotty McClure in the afternoon. There we are. But Labour will increase taxes, but the Conservatives will want to cut taxes. But tax cuts have to be funded, and the only way to do it is by cuts. We're heading for recession, Scotty. Robert, we are indeed, we are in recession, although there has been a very slight growth in the economy over the last month, believe it or not. And there we are. Dinky-doo, buddy. Dinky-doo, Brian. How lovely to have you with us. And love to your lovely family. Have you met the Queen? I haven't met the Queen. Um, I've met her son. Yes. Uh, so there we are. Her son came to my place of work at one point, but I haven't. Uh, I haven't met her Majesty. But I do remember seeing her at close quarters when I was about maybe five years old uh, in Windsor Great Park. It was rather a treat. Uh, so there we have it, yes. But you see, are they smart enough at BBC Radio to appoint Scotty McClue to the afternoon on Radio 2? Hello, Scotty, good morning. My absolute hero on radio was Terry Wogan. And I've listened to Radio 2 a lot of my life when I wasn't listening to my own stations. And um, I loved uh, Ray Moore in the morning. They're on the Rattlers this morning, you know. And um, I love Jimmy Young, Terry Wogan, Ken Bruce. I can remember writing my university thesis with Ken Bruce on. And boy, does Ken make you laugh. Do you support Scottish independence? I think Scotland would do very well economically on its own. The Scots just need to make sure that they're keeping... Her Majesty the Queen, otherwise independence is toast. Uh, you would be a good host, uh, TV show Countdown. Do you know, Pagrant, I actually had the privilege of working with the late Richard Whiteley. What a lovely, lovely guy. There we are. Uh, who are you tipping for the golf at St Andrews, Scotty? St Andrews, I believe, is one of the most beautiful towns of Scotland. I happen to adore St Andrews. Absolutely adore it. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Good morning, Scotty, from a very sunny Norwich. Neil, how lovely to have you with us from Norwich. Guys, there's lots and lots of new videos for you. Uh, we should host one a week at this rate. Yes, indeed. Uh, maybe fifth referendum lucky. Well, no, no, the third one will be provided that it's made clear to the nationalists that they need to be 100% behind the monarchy, all right? 